One of the most frequently asked questions on TrustCS by the community on Discord has actually nothing to do with 3D or the library itself, but to the use of view asynchronous components and view suspense. So that's why I decided to create a video about it to explain you how to deal with asynchronous requests on your view components, how to use view suspense and when, and how to render fallback content. Hola chamos y chamos, welcome back to Alvaro Dev Labs and today we're gonna talk about view suspense. So imagine you have a view component that needs to fetch something from the internet. So I'm gonna search for it. But in the meantime, I had to leave something here in replace of myself. So I'm gonna leave Chrome. Here it is, a cat. Lord, she was in the middle of a nap. Oh, she hates me. I'm sorry, Monty. So, how can I tell the view application that I'm waiting for my cat pictures? Wrapping the view component with suspense. Let's jump into the code to see how it will look like. Here, I have a simple view application that I created with Bit that has an app.view and it has one component, my cat component. This is a component that is going to hold our picture of a cat. So to do that, we're going to use OFetch to fetch the data. So we're going to import it from OFetch. And then we are going to deconstruct a query here. And we're going to use await OFetch. And we're going to pass the URL of our API, or cat API. So this cat API is really cool because it gives you a random cat image if you use it. Now that we have the data, we need to do something with it. Something cool. So this is gonna be like a cart with an image inside. If I hit save, nothing happens. And you're gonna notice that in the console, you're gonna have a warning. So let me increase a little bit the size here and says, view warn component anonymous set of function returning a promise, which is this one. But no suspense boundary was found in the parent component tree. So view is already telling us what's the issue that we haven't wrapped our cat component with suspense. So let's just do that. Let's go here and between this component, let's wrap it with suspense. If we hit save and we reload, now we have our cat image. This is quite angry. Maybe it's my cat right now. This is better. Okay, awesome. So we managed to get our image from the internet. So this is the way that you can do asynchronous operations inside of a sub component and then tell view to wait for the return of that promise. But what about fallback content? Since we're fetching data from the internet, sometimes it might be really quick and sometimes it might not. So we need a way to tell the user that their data is being loaded and show a loading state in the meantime. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Inside Suspense, we can use a template with a scoping name of fallback. Inside here, we can set all the HTML or a view component that we want to show in the meantime. In this case, I have another component called loading that I'm gonna use for this. This is just a loading spinner. So I'm gonna import it from loading, loading. That was really Spanish. So components loading. And for a really quick moment, you could see something like a spinner, but since the fetching is too fast. Let's do something here to make it slower. So I'm going to open the developer tools. And in network, we can actually set the throttling. So I'm going to put the throttling like a uh, really slow. And now you see the spinner. Meanwhile, it takes the data from the internet. And there you go. Cute cat. So in that way, we're showing in the meantime um, a replacement of our component before we show the data. You can also handle errors by using suspense and a convenient hook that is available on, as a composable. So let's force an error on our API. So I'm gonna put an extra A here 
And if we refresh, we see that the loading state continues there because it was never complete. But this is not a good DX because then the user is gonna wait for it forever. So what we can do is basically use here on error capture, and this accepts a callback that we're gonna pass here. So we can have a variable that, um, I don't know, has error, okay? Which is a ref, in this case false. We also need to import ref from you. Okay, so in the case that we have an error, let's just console error, cat 404, right? And what else can we do? We can set the has error value equal to true. Cool. So what we're gonna do is, yeah, if it's like a B if, so if it doesn't has an error, we show the component. But if we do have an error, let's show a div here. So it's gonna be B else 404 cat. Oh, let me see if I can put the cat here. Yes, not far. Okay, let's refresh and now we can see that we, it's a little bit small, but we handled um, the error by showing it to the end user by using this. Unfortunately, there is not such a thing yet uh, in the same template okay, and the same suspense, sorry, that we could do something like this. That would be ideal because then we could move this here. But for now, you can use on error capture to capture the errors and show it to the end user. And that's pretty much for today's video. I hope you enjoy it and you learned something new about Vue and how to use suspense to deal with asynchronous components and their operations. If you like this video, please drop a like, subscribe, and comment in the section below everything that you need to know. See you in the next one. Ciao, ciao.